Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export GradeView to Excel in HP.NET. This is my web.config file in which already I have added a connection string. As you can see, I am connected to the Northwind database. On the right hand side, you will see a link to the video which explains how to download and install Northwind database. So let's start. I am opening the HPX page. Here I'll start by adding the grid view control. Since we need to export the grid view with formatting, so here I am adding some formatting to the grid view. Here I am applying some colors and some fonts to the header row as well as the data row and also to the alternating row. You can use the colors of your choice as per your requirement. Now I am adding columns to the grid view. Here I will be adding three bound field columns. For now, we are done with the grid view in ASPX. Let's move to the code behind. We'll start by adding some namespaces. So the very first namespace is system.io. The next one is system.data. Then system.data.sql client. Then system.drawing. And finally, system.configuration. I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article, the link for the demo, and the link for the code sample is available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Now I am creating a function called bindgrid and this particular function will be used to populate the grid view with records from database table and this particular function will be called at two places first inside the page load event handler and second inside the on page index changing event handler. So here I have created a string variable and inside that I am reading the connection string from the web.config file. This particular connection string as discussed earlier is connected to the Northwind database and we will be fetching records from the customers table. I have created an object of SQL connection class. And I have passed the connection string variable to it in the constructor. Next I am creating an object of SQL command class and I am passing the SQL query to read the data from the customers table. Now I'm creating an object of SQL data adapter. The SQL connection object is assigned to the connection property of the SQL command class. Then the SQL command object is assigned to the select command property of the SQL data adapter class. Now I am creating an object of data table 
which will be filled using the SQL data adapter. Once the data table is populated with data, it is assigned to the data source property of the grid view control. And finally, the data bind function of the grid view control is called. With this, we complete the grid view population part. Now I am creating an on page index changing event handler. In order to keep the video short, and up to the context, I am not explaining the grid view pagination part in this particular video. If you need information on grid view paging, please refer to the video, the link of which is visible on the right hand side. Now inside the page load event handler, I will be calling the bind grid function. Now let's move back to the ASPX page. Here I am enabling the paging for the grid view and also assigning the on page index changing event holder to the grid view. Now we are done with the grid view population and pagination part. So let's run it. As you can see the grid view is populated with data and also the pagination is working. So now let's move to the second part of this video which is exporting the grid view to Excel. Now I'm adding a button which will be used to export the grid view to Excel. Let's move to the code behind. Here I am creating an event handler which will be called on the click of the button. So here as you can see I have started by clearing the response and then setting the buffer as true. Now I'm adding a content disposition header. This particular header will notify the browser that a attachment is being downloaded and it will also specify the name of the file. If you don't add this particular header, then the file will be directly opened in the browser instead of being downloaded as an attachment. Then I've set the care set property of the response as blank. Next, I'm setting the content type property of the response class. It is used to notify the browser about the file type. For example, in current case, it is an Excel file. Now, let's say you click on the open button, then it will automatically open the file in Excel application in case it is installed on the computer. Now, I'm creating an object of string writer class. Now, I'm creating an object of HTML text writer class. Both of these classes will be used to render the grid view to HTML. Now I am setting the allow paging property to false. This is required because if you don't set it to false, then the current page which is being displayed will be exported to Excel. And after setting the allow paging property to false, I am calling the bind grid function. The header style back color or the row style back color is applied to the grid view row and not to the grid view cell. And hence sometimes while exporting, it does not render properly. Thus, I'll be executing a loop over each cell and I'll be setting the header style or the row style back colors to individual cells. This will make sure that the formatting we are seeing on the page, we will see the same formatting inside Excel. As you can see, inside the loop, I am setting the back color of the cell with the header style back color. In similar way, I'll be executing a loop over the grid view rows and I'll be applying the row style back color to each cell of the grid view row. So this particular if condition is used to determine whether row is odd or even and based on whether row is odd or even the row style or the alternating row style back colors are set to the individual cell of the row. I am setting a CSS class for each cell which is text mode. 
this css class is actually useful when grid view contains some numbers now i am calling the grid view render control function which will render the grid view to html i am defining the text mode css class inside the style tags Finally, the grid view HTML is written to the response, and response dot flush function is called, and the response is ended. Now, since grid view is a server control, and we are calling the render control function explicitly, hence we will have to override this particular event handler so that we don't receive a compiler error. So with this, we are done with the programming part. Now let's move to the ASPX page where we will assign the event handler to the button. Now let's run the code and see it in action. As you can see, the grid view is populated. Now I'll click on the export to Excel button and the browser is showing option to open the file or save the file. Now this warning is because we are exporting HTML to Excel. And you can see the grid view has been exported to Excel and all the rows of the grid view have been exported and also with formatting. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.